Our species, the Homo sapien, we have been on this planet for roughly about 200,000 years. Spiders on the other hand, 3 million plus years these guys have roamed our earth. Hello everybody, I am of course the Invertebrarian, thank you for joining us here today on the channel. Today we are looking at spiders, obviously that's why we're here. Over the 300 million years these incredible arachnids have roamed the earth, they've evolved some of the most fascinating ways of hunting prey I have ever seen in any animal on this planet. I don't own every different type of hunting strategy in which spiders deploy, but here are just some of the methods they use to keep themselves going and prove that they are without a doubt one of the best predators on this planet. We have jumping spiders who just propel themselves using stealth and agility onto their prey. We have spiders like Deinopis that use nets and suspend themselves waiting for food to pass below before casting the net down on top of them and reeling their prey up to feed. We have spiders that create intricate labyrinths of thick webbing and hide within waiting for the sensors to be triggered so that they can ambush their prey. We have spiders that hide below the sand and wait for vibrations above before pouncing and attacking. And we have spiders that rely on speed, unlike this one. Now that is only a small amount of some of the, the hunting techniques spiders have evolved over their time on Earth. You have trapdoor spiders, you have bola spiders, you have orb weaving spiders. There are so many different techniques deployed and yet all have the same outcome for their prey. One well-fed spider. In today's video, we are looking at very much speed and power. We are looking at hogna species. These are known as wolf spiders. I happen to have three different species in my care and absolutely love each and every one of them. We're going to go and have a look at those three. One of them will be getting a little rehouse. So stay with us and let's go have a look at just how beautiful and amazing wolf spiders actually are. The first one we're going to look at is easily one of my favourites. This is the Hogna Madeiriana, Madeiriana being in Portugal. These guys were formerly known as the Hogna Schmitzi, but have been reclassified as Hogna Madeiriana. These guys have been found at all altitudes throughout Portugal, ranging from uh, coastal areas right up to the plateau of Paulo de Serra. That's the correct pronunciation. So these guys are well distributed throughout the lands. You will see looking at mine, they are without a shadow of a doubt one of the most beautiful spiders there is to be seen. Those orange tipped legs which start to develop from a very young age and become very distinct looking. The carapace markings and the abdominal markings makes this, in my opinion, easily one of the most beautiful spiders I happen to own in my collection. I absolutely love it. And when they hunt, food does not stand a chance. If they're hungry. Next up is the Hogna Miami. You'll notice my adult female here seems to be missing a leg. But if she wins, she the next molts, that will go back again. The Hogna Miami as it suggests, is from the United States of America. These are probably the most common of the hogna within the pet trade. There are over 200 described species of wolf spider. Uh, they could be found in absolutely every continent of the world apart from Antarctica. Now, these guys can be found ranging from Ohio to Pennsylvania South to Florida. Um, absolutely beautiful spider. It doesn't have the same striking appearance of the one we saw prior to this but nonetheless it's still a very very beautiful spider. It has these absolutely amazing markings across the carapace and abdomen and again when hungry these guys are absolutely ferocious feeders. An adult specimen can reach up to a leg span of round about two inches give or take. I have this lovely beautiful female thanks to Creepy and Crawly UK. Please do of course check out their website, maybe get one for yourself if there's any left. You can 
not have one of these in your collection. They are absolutely fascinating. If you're looking to move from tarantula keeping into true spiders, I would highly, highly recommend uh, the Hawk of Miami as a beginner species. Amazing, amazing. And again, beautiful. The final one is the smallest of our collection. It's the Hogna Radiata, gifted to us from Gavin Mitch over on Scene Universe. Do please check them out and show them loads of support. This species was first described in 1817 and is one of the largest species found in Italy. They can be found in North Africa, Central Asia and Southern Europe. Like other uh, wolf spiders, they generally tend not to, not to create webs, but instead burrow or use natural hives that they find. Uh, but now we're going to go and get rehoused into our Inver Mansions. As it, we've come to the end of this video. Uh, it's sitting up there. There it is. Uh, thank you to everybody that's watched this video. Uh, please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're planning on shopping at the Spider Shop, my affiliation link will be down below. Please do use the affiliation link uh, when shopping there because uh, it would really help me out. Uh, so, what did you think of that video? Was it something a bit different? Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I really enjoyed making it because I absolutely love the wolf spiders and other true true spider species uh, but yeah thank you ever so much just thought we'd try and try and showcase something a little bit different and um, but that is it from me to you thank you ever so much and uh, do pop your comments down below thank you again and goodbye so, of course a huge thanks uh, to creepy and crawl uk uh, unseen universe and invert mansions And that is that. There it is up there. We've come to the end of this video. Yeah, there's a new unit there. Anyway, uh, we've come to the end of this video. Uh, thank you to everybody that has taken the time to watch it. Please do, of course, like, conscious, and just. <laughs>